welcome to my channel um i'm so excited to have you all here today i'm just going to be practicing drawing eyes one of my favorite things to draw there is a quote eyes are the window to the soul i don't remember where it came from if you know um could you tell me but i really like that quote not even necessarily because I think that it's true, but I just love the way that it sounds. And I do think eyes tell you a lot about a person. I think they're the most exciting part of a face to draw. They also can be stressful, obviously. It's always very scary as an artist when you're drawing eyes and you're trying to make sure that the eyes look similar to each other. Um, it's a very stressful thing. Um, one could say that it's one of the hardest things to draw next to a hand. I don't know if that's true, but it can be a little scary sometimes for that reason. But that's why I'm practicing, so I can improve and I can get better. I want my eyes to look more well, more emotional, more distinct. So the first set of eyes that um, I drew, um, for some reason I had it really far away from the camera. Sorry about that. Um, I fixed that later on when I draw the other eyes. The thing I notice is that when I'm practicing this, I feel like every time it gets better and I can clearly see the difference and that makes me so like happy because like you know like you always know you're improving but to see when you look at it that you are improving that just makes me feel so much better and so much more um happy and like it cheers me up just looking at it and seeing the clear difference um this is i don't know if i'm going to make more I practice videos. I'm not quite so saw. I think I'm supposed to be switching to working on noses next, which is very even more intimidating than eyes for me because I've always tried to draw like somewhat realistic eyes, but I never really tried this with noses. Whenever I have drawn noses, they've always not been very realistic. Um, I think it's because honestly, drawing noses intimidates me for some reason. I think to me, it feels a little bit more complex, you know? If I go to nose, you have so much going on and so many like shapes that aren't like, shapes that you may be used to drawing, more complex shapes. Whereas with eyes, it's like, it's like drawing an almond, an almond? <laughs> and then drawing a circle in the middle, you know? So I'm a little excited. But I'm also a little bit nervous. <laughs> I think something that is very important to me um, in life is just to always be working hard and trying to improve myself because I'm not perfect and to be honest I never will be but just having the ability and the experience of working hard to improve myself and the things that I want to improve myself in that's a cool and, and fun experience especially if I have a positive attitude and mindset like when I make a mistake, my reaction could be, oh no, I made a mistake. And like, I can just focus on the fact that I made a mistake. But instead, the better thing to do when I make a mistake is to try and learn from that mistake I made and grow from it. It's like, it's okay that you aren't where you want to be right now. Just focus on trying to get where you want to be, but still enjoy the things that you are experiencing right now and try to make the most of like your life and your experiences as best as you can. Um, 
I think a great example of this is, oh no, I did it again, is I noticed while I'm, I'm working on this video that I keep on saying, um, I don't know if it's something I generally do when I talk, but it must be because I keep on doing it in the recording. So, <laughs> and that's something I'm going to work on because I don't like that. If you noticed, you probably didn't like it. And if you didn't notice, well, that's fine too. Um, but <laughs> I did it again. But the point is, just be more confident in my words. Um, and then you're okay with making mistakes. And that's a great example because I find that to be so embarrassing for some reason. But that's okay. Like, I can grow. Eventually, I'll stop doing that. Probably. Definitely. Um. <laughs> oh no, now I keep on noticing every time I'm saying it. That makes me feel embarrassed. But now that I notice it, it makes it a lot more easier for me to address it. So, the truth be told, I know right now the art style that I'm drawing in is kind of a a semi-realistic art style. I can't, I don't think I can call this realistic. I don't think I can. But it's kind of a, it kind of looks realistic, but not like extremely realistic. And that's kind of what I want it, I want art to be. If it's like a drawing or like a painting, I want it to look kind of realistic. I don't, however, want it to be like photorealistic, like it came out of a printer or something. I honestly don't exactly get art like that. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, obviously. And it is beautiful in its own way. But I want it to be stylized to some extent. Like, I want it to be clear that this is a drawing. So I, I think I want it to be somewhere in between semi-realistic and like those realistic paintings, somewhere in between there. I'm totally going to be like trying to like um, recapture like the art style of like art like these. Do you see those pictures? Art like that. Honestly, I think this is because I was very really influenced early on by the art in the American Girl books. And even though obviously they're not quite this style, it's very, um, it's kind of similar with this whole kind of holistic painting thing going on. And I really like the art in the American Girl books. It's literally so, so beautiful. Um, I, I, growing up, I didn't have older bricks, obviously, but I had some of the Josefina bricks. I had um, some of the Addy bricks and the Kaya bricks. I think that's all. Um, and I, I, I would just look at the art. I loved looking at the art. When I was very really young, I used to only look at the art because it was so, so beautiful. It was just so, like, cool to see. Like, I really liked doing that. Oh, yeah, we had Cecile and Marie Grace books, too. I just loved looking at the art. And I always, always just liked that art style a lot. I think I've always been afraid to do it, though, because I've always thought, I can't do that. It's too hard. It's too difficult. And it might take me a very, very long time to even be anywhere near that. And that's okay. Um, but just trying and just improving my art it's, it's a cool thing journey to go on and even if i decide like oh, i don't want to exactly do something like that maybe i wanted to be a little bit more cartoony maybe i wanted to be a little bit um a little bit less a little bit more realistic that's okay um also when i'm talking about it i don't necessarily mean like the fact that it's painted i just mean the level of like detail and how realistic it is and um the way like the human body is shaped in the art i want to like recreate that as far as coloring techniques again something that i need to work on and i've always been afraid of is coloring art 
that type of things because I have difficulty that like I feel like when I color things stuff looks way worse but anyway the video is coming to a close thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful beautiful day um go out and create thanks for watching <laughs>